To say I'm excited about being a part of this is an understatement, to say the least. But you know, Lionel, first of all, I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy for you. You know, you deserve what you're getting here. And Lionel and I met 32 years ago, right here in Las Vegas. But, you know, I'm so excited about this because now for those of you who are young, aspiring songwriters who want to learn how to pitch a song, Lionel is your guy. I called him from the Riviera here and I said, Lionel, I'd love for you to come over and write a song for me. And he said, I don't think I have time. I said, well, I, it's going to be a part of a greatest hits album. It'll sell, I think, a minimum of four or five million records. He says, it's seven o'clock tomorrow night, okay. <laughs> so he came in at seven o'clock, and we had this little upright rinky-dink piano in the dressing room, and he starts to play, and then he says, before I do this, I have to tell you, I pitched this to the Commodores, and they turned it down, which I thought was an interesting approach to selling a song. <laughs> so he sits down, and he starts playing, and he goes, Lady, wait. wait. <laughs> and the rest of it, la da 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 All he had was the one word. I said, how could they have turned that word down, I ask you? <laughs> so we go in the studio. Six months later, we're recording. I finished the first verse of the song. And I'm sitting looking at the lyric sheets and there's not a second verse. And I said, wait a minute, where's Lionel? I swear to God, he's in the toilet writing the second verse. <laughs> they said he's at his best under pressure. <laughs> so I am so excited about being here, you know. And uh, he's not just a friend of mine, but the song you wrote was truly a changing point in my career. It's one of the most identifiable songs I've ever done. I'd love to have you come up and sing it with me, if you will. Come on, come on.
Can you rise up everybody? Lionel Richie! 